First and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Brakatha Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Give double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. And salutations to our sincere brothers that goes out on the highways and the byways, week in, week out, risking their lives. And shalom to our sincere brothers and sisters supporting his ministry. Shalom. What I want to talk about today is how special you are. How beautiful you are. Right? And I'm going to read from the book of Psalms 52. I'm going to read it first and then go through it again. All right? And bring up a couple of um, points. But it says, Yahweh will destroy the wicked. Right? Yahweh Ba Sham Yahshai will destroy the wicked. And it reads, right? Psalms 52, verse 1 to 9. Right, and you just don't know, realize how special you are. You are a special people, right? 52. Why boastest thou thyself in mischief, O mighty man? The goodness of Yahweh Basham Yashai endureth continually, thy tongue divisive mischiefs like a sharp razor working deceitfully thou lovest evil more than good and lying rather than to speak righteousness Selah verse 4 thou lovest all devouring words O thou deceitful tongue thou shalt likeness likewise destroy thee forever he shall take thee away and pluck thee out of thy dwelling place, and root thee out of the land of living, of the living. Verse 6. The righteous also shall see and fear, and shall laugh at him. Lo, this is the man that made not Yahweh Sham Yashai his strength but trusteth in the abundance of his riches and strength strengthened himself in his wickedness but i am like a green olive tree in the house of Ye of yahweh our power i trust in the mercy of our power for ever and ever verse 9 i will praise thee for ever because thou hast done it, and I will wait on thy name, for it is good before thy saints. <coughs> this is a beautiful Psalms, right? It's saying that the Most High Yahweh Sham Yahshai would destroy the wicked. But because you are of the saints, you will be protected. Right? He will look after you. He will defend you. Right, so let me let me go through it again. Right? It says, Why boast if thou thyself in the mischief? O mighty man, boast if. Right? I'll put some little notes here to remind myself. The Lord hates a boastful look, a prideful look. He hates that. He detests that. Right? In verse 2, the tongue does divisive mischief. And you know what the Mosai says about the tongue. Right? Although it's a small part of our body, it can create devastation. I'm going to get that in James 3. James 3. Five and five to six. 
right? And it says importance of, the heading is importance of controlling the tongue, right? This is verse 5. Even so, the tongue is a little member, right? <laughs> if you see what the tongue can do, the tongue can bless and the tongue can curse, right? Even so, the tongue is a little member and boasted great things, right? Verse 6, still in verse 5, Behold, how great a matter a little fire kindleth, right? That little fire, that little tongue, what that tongue can stir up, right? Verse 6, and the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. So is the tongue among our members that it defileth the whole body. Right? You see what they say, what comes out of your mouth? Yes? Um, and setteth on fire the course of nature, and it is set on fire of hell so you see what i mean by the tongue that tongue that member of the body right it's a powerful tool right okay so when we cut in people left right and center right what we cut him with the word with our tongue right so that was in two three now right Thou lovest evil more than good, right? And you know, that's what Esau is about. Esau is about everything that comes out of the tongue is negative, right? Or deceitful. They might come with a smile, all right? But in their thoughts, they have, they have different agendas, right? Wicked ways. All right, so I'm going to jump down to seven, all right? Lo, this is the man, all right? That made not Yahweh Basham Yahshua his strength, but trusted in the abundance of his riches and strengthened himself in his wickedness, right? And you know how Esau got rich, right? Through us. Our blood, okay? We are forced into doing what we don't didn't want to do, right? We were punished, right? We worked freely. So they became rich. Right? Is this the man that believed he can be this man here, Esau, right? He doesn't believe in the greatest and our highest power, right? But he took it upon himself to believe that he is greater than the Most High, all right? Is this the man, really? Is this the man you're going to look back? Not even look back. We know who is the man. We know who is the wicked, right? But that new kingdom to come, we're going to say, is this the man, this low state of, what's the word, man? There's so many things I could say about them. Is this the man that took over the world? Huh? Let me get that in Isaiah 14. Isaiah 14. I thought I, mar I thought I marked it here. Isaiah 14, 16 to 18. Right. So listen to this now. Right. Turn this right here. Let me start from yet. Let me start from 15. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, to the side of the pit. 
they that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble, that did shake kingdoms? Huh? That made the world as a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof that opened not the house of his prisoners. Verse 18. All the kings of the nations, even all of them, lie in glory, even one in his own house. Right? So... Was this the man really eh, that turned things upside down? That is the wicked. They don't think of righteousness. All they think about is, you know, a paraphrase. And when they go to their bed in the nights, right, they can't sleep until they think of ways of putting us down lower and lower. Right? Right, so... Let me go to eight now. But I am like a green olive tree in the house of Yahweh Basham Yashai. I trust in the mercy of Yahweh forever and ever. Right? Now that green olive, olive tree represents peace. All right? A mountain facing Jerusalem on the east side right and you know when we pray we must always pray to the east all right we must pray to the east and yahweh and that represents peace because when yahweh basham yahushai returns all right he has to make it right and the end of it is going to be eternal peace and that is that is what we are after Peace. Verse 9. And the last one. I will praise thee forever. Because thou hast done it. And I will wait. It's only a, a, a set. A nation of people that can wait on Yahweh. By Sham Shai. And that is you. That's why I say you are special. You are special, brothers and sisters, right? I will wait on the name, and the name is Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. For it is good before thy saints. Now, who are the saints? Not the Edomites. The saints are the Hebrew Israelites, right? Those are the true Jews, the real Jews, the real saints. So rebuke those who, who think that they are the true saints, right? They could come up through another way. They can't come up through no other way, okay? You cannot come up through no other way. That's why I'm saying that you are special, My Hebrew Israelite brothers, my Hebrew Israelite sisters, you are special people. You are of a special nation. All right? And only the saints are the true Israelites. The true Israelites are the saints. Okay? And the Israelites are only the the nation is only a nation that can receive this all right the hopeful elect and you hope and pray that you're in that number so with that give all praise to yahweh Basham, yahweh shai shalom